Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, all my subscribers. Much appreciated. This video, how to put uh, gauges overlaid onto your uh, video. So that's the footage that we can get. So this video we're going to cover how to do it and which to choose. Should you do it this way, the DIY method, or should you use something like race render? So what do we need to do it for the DIY? We need uh, the car scanner app specifically. This is what it's called, car scanner. Link in the video description. You can get it on uh, Google Play. This is the uh, page for it on uh, Google, car scanner um, OBD2. We need a camera, obviously. Personally, I prefer to use uh, action cams. I use uh, SJ Cam or uh, Xiaomi cameras. We need an uh, AZ screen recorder. Again, this is on Google Play. This is the page for an uh, AZ screen recorder. As you can see, it's a super popular app. Um, it's got some one-star reviews. I don't know how anybody could give it a one-star. It's, it's great. And the added bonus of using AZ screen recorder is that you can also record the audio from your phone. And also, last step, obviously you need video editing software and one that's got a green screen or a chroma key capability. That's variable. This is key, this bit here. So in the car scanner app, we're going to go to the uh, dashboard section. And this is where you get all the gauges. So if we look at the gauges that we get here, this is a custom dashboard. But you can have these gauges to show anything you want. You can change basically everything that you see. You can change the font here. You can change what it says here. You can change the scale on this. It comes with standard scales. For example, this one goes up to 250, but this is a normally aspirated car, so we only need it to go up to 100. You can change the color, like I said. You can change the font size. You can change the font colors. You can have whatever gauge you want here. You know, just whatever the OBD is sending to the app, you can have that display here. You can have it display, have it display as just a number. I think you can even have graphs if you want. So like I said, go in the car scanner, do the dashboard, set up the gauges how you want them. And then in AZ screen recorder, obviously it records the screen. But when you're doing that, tick the uh, record audio uh, option as well. So you get probably get much better quality recording audio with your phone than with the camera. So that's the option set up for the two apps. So to get the recording, we start AZ screen recorder. We open up the uh, dashboard in uh, the car scanner app. We switch on the camera, we start recording. I like to do some claps at the start of the footage just to sync the uh, screen recorder with the uh, camera. And actually, that's, the, that's another great reason to use, put the sound option on, on the AC screen recorder so you can sync the footage. And then once you've done that, just start driving. So that's the footage recorded. So this is how we do the editing. We put the base layer as the camera or the cameras if you're using more than one. On top of that, we put the things that we want to overlay. So in this particular one, we've got a uh, MoviChip lap timer here and this is the car scanner. So we put those two things as the uh, top layers on top of everything. The, uh, the dashboard will come with a uh, color background. Personally, I found black to be fine as a color background. And what we do to get rid of the background so we can see through the gauges, on Power Director, we go to Modify, and it gives us the chroma key option. So if it's not enabled, this is how it comes off the app. But if we just click chroma key, the default is to uh, make black transparent, and this is what it gives us. We've got options here for tolerance, intensity, tolerance of hue, Adjust that to how you want it. I find you know, applying a shadow gives a bit more definition as well. If you're using a different video editing software, then the method to do this is going to be different. You're going to have different menus, but this is basically what you're doing. You just want to make the uh, background color transparent. So basically, that's what I've just written here. Uh, we import the clips. We put the base layers as the camera footage. We put the top layers uh, of the uh, things that we want to do the chroma key on. Uh, we sync the footage so the sound is matching. This is why we put the claps at the start and the uh, chroma key, the car scanner layer or the layer of whatever it is that you're putting on top. So in summary, um, race render versus DIY. Well, I think the DIY option is probably easier because the, that, that car scanner app is so great. It's so easy to use and it's so customizable. 
Uh, DIY option is free except the video editing software and the camera. Uh, the race render is also free uh, if for videos up to three minutes in length. Uh, you can get the same data on race render. Basically you can use your OBD data, but it's a bit more uh, involved. You have to uh, do a log with the whichever OBD software you're using and uh, put that into a CSV file. Again, the car scanner app is excellent for that. You can, you can output a CSV file for you. You input the CSV into race render, and then you have to set up the gauges. It is the same data, but I think the DIY method when you're using car scanner is much easier. And plus you can do unlimited length recordings. One downside of the DIY is that you don't get a, a GPS overlay. So maybe if you want to see the track uh, being traced as you're driving along it, the DIY option doesn't have that. All in all, I think I prefer to do it the DIY method because it's so fast because this car scanner app is so fantastic and I've got the video editing software that's got the chroma key on it so you just do the recordings you just drive you come back and you just need to overlay one on top of the other press the chroma key and boom you've got one on top of the other there's a lot of extra work in the race render I suppose another advantage of the race render is that you can have the gauges you know wherever you want them on the screen whereas if you're using the car scanner app you need them they're always going to be in a rectangle, basically the shape of the screen that you've recorded. There's also dashware, I think, is also very popular. Personally, I've always found that a bit of a faff. I've never really got it working properly. That's how you put a uh, gauge overlay onto your uh, video footage. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber already, thank you for subscribing to the channel. That's all for now. Look after yourself, and I'll see you again next time.